Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson I'm going to teach you longitude and latitude. Of course, there is a PDF file on the description below for you to download if you like. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. So the great circle that is right in the middle of the earth. So this is great circle and we call equator. So which is start at zero degrees. So anything above the equator is no. So therefore, anything below the equator of the earth is we call south. So these small circles here is to tell how far is the angular distance away from the equator. So just keep that in mind for me. So therefore, these are called latitude. There you go. So these are latitude. So for example, if this is 50 degrees above the, the equator, so therefore it will be 50 degrees north. And let's say this small circle here is 40 degrees below the equator, so that will be so 40 degrees south. So if above the equator, we say it's north, okay? If it below of the equator, is south. So on top here, this is actually north pole. And down here, right at the bottom here, is south pole. So apart from latitude, we also have longitude. So this red line here is called Greenwich Meridian and it starts with zero degrees. And these are latitude. Okay, just keep that in mind for me. So these are latitude. So this means that if the latitude on left of the Greenwich, that means from here, is actually east. And then on the left hand side of the Greenwich is west. So please keep that in mind for me. And the latitude is to tell how far the angular distance away from the Greenwich. For example, so let's say this one here, 40 degrees, for instance. So therefore, because on the left hand side of the Greenwich, so therefore should be east. So let's say this is 50 degrees. But because it's on the left hand side of the Greenwich Meridian, so therefore it should be 50 degrees east. So let's say this, this latitude here 10 degrees, right? But because it's on the left of the Greenwich Meridian, so therefore it should be 10 degrees west. That's all. So therefore the surface of the Earth consists of latitude and longitude, okay? So latitude is to tell how far the angular distance away from the equator. So either north or south, okay? And the latitude is to tell the angular distance away from the Greenwich Meridian. Okay, remember that for me. Let's say we have a surface of the Earth here. So the red latitude is the Greenwich Meridian. Okay, so red line. So let me just write this down. So Greenwich. Let's say this latitude here is 20 degrees. So this means that it's 20 degrees away from the, the Greenwich Meridian because it's on the right hand side. So we say 20 degrees east. So that means, let's say this is the center of the Earth, okay? So therefore, the angle measure from this here and to this is 20 degrees. That's what that meant, okay? So keep that in mind. So 20 degrees, the angle di angular distance, okay? Let's make this latitude is 60 degrees, okay? Let's make this 60 degrees. So therefore, it's 60 degrees east of the meridian. So that means, again, let's say this is center of the Earth. So therefore, the angular distance from the uh, Greenwich Meridian and this one. So this angle here is 60 degrees, okay? So that's what that meant, okay? So please keep that in mind. So let's say this longitude here is 10 degrees. So therefore, because on the 
left of the Greenwich Meridian. So therefore 10 degrees west. Okay, so that means it's actually 10 degrees west of the Meridian because it's on the left hand side of the Greenwich Meridian. So in another word, we're going to go like this, explain this to you. Okay, so this is the angle from here to here. This is the center of the earth. So this angle here is actually 10 degrees. That's what that meant. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.